It's week one of the National Football League, where we'll see a brawl inside the NFC South. It's the Panthers and the Falcons, and it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, our new season begins with an NFC South matchup, as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, CD, new season is here. Lions and Chiefs got it going on Thursday night. You and I were there. What a scene that was. But now here we are a few days later on Sunday, looking at two teams with great expectations here to begin 2023. It's always fun to get a new season started, isn't it, partner? Because everyone feels like they've got a shot at the defending champs. They think that they can be the new champs. Successfully. So here are the Panthers set to take over for the first time. And Charles will get a look at the much heralded rookie Bryce Young, the first overall pick from April's draft. Bryce Young, the quarterback out of Alabama with a Heisman Trophy in his hip pocket, is the new face of Carolina football. 80 touchdowns, just 12 picks in his college career for the Crimson Tide. He may be a little small in terms of size, but potential? Massive. Meanwhile, Young's throw here on target to Hurst. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now a second and two. Young. And again, that's Hurst. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. A nice completion there for the first down. And Charles, you think about the quarterbacks of recent vintage that have been thrust into action week one. It's no guarantee of future success, but we sure have seen some good ones. We certainly have, partner. How about Joe Burrow with the Bengals in 2020? He was excellent. Kyler Murray with the Cardinals. The best part about his game has his team run the brink of the playoffs. And Deshaun Watson has won division titles after having started from day one. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down and two. Right back to Hubbard. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. A give up the middle, Hubbard, and he'll get it down to the plate of the 37. Two yards on the pick up, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. On the handoff, running left is Hubbard. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. So week one is upon us. Frank Reich making his debut as Panthers head coach. He's tapped Bryce Young to get the nod here on opening day. I think nowadays, Charles, if you're the number one overall pick, the expectation is that you're going to be running the show right from the start. I agree with that totally, and I support it because if I'm drafting guy number one, I'm going to do everything possible to get him ready to go right out of the gate. And it has worked out fairly well for the last three guys who were in that position. Kyler Murray, Joe Burrow, and Trevor Lawrence. All three have led their teams to the playoffs, with Burrow getting his team to the Super Bowl. The first red zone opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and ten. The Young keeps it moving right. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Straight ahead with Hubbard. A nice display of powerful running, but it takes him only to the seven. He's dropped there. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third and short yardage, Young. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown! Hayden Hurst, a seven-yard touchdown grab. 
And the Panthers are on the board here first in the season opener. Those are the drives that prove a lot. You got a rookie quarterback, Charles, you're on the road, takes him down, throws the touchdown pass. And in a game like this, with, as you described, a rookie quarterback, the team usually says, okay, we got to take care of this guy. We got to protect him. But when he goes out and plays like this on the first drive on the road, he doesn't have to say, I'm here to be your leader. They just need to follow him. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons. And now off to the races down the right side. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. From the gun, Jackson. Throw over the middle, going to be caught here by Pitts. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? And he's going to have a Falcons first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. And that's why he's been the first round draft pick on a running back. Not for just the fancy runs, but these dirty, gritty third and ones, third and twos. That's why you draft him. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And he's got it down to the 28. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What do we call it? Run fits. Everyone is in the wrong place. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. 49 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. And now Jackson will look to throw it. And that is incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Second down and a run by Robinson. He's dropped just inside the 20. A little second effort there, but couldn't find a whole lot of space. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Here's Jackson. This is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And he starts his new year off on the right foot as well, as this kick is good. Needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. And this is up and good from Pinheiro. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Atlanta now coming out on the field. 
And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Hand off now to Robinson. Got a nifty juke there. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 102 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the season opener. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now it's Jackson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time. But nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. Staying on his feet. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Jackson now. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Jackson from the shotgun. And going to find the open man. And it's complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they deliver there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. They'll run with Robinson. And he gets in. Touchdown. B. John Robinson with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Falcons have taken the lead. And a nice little start to the career for the rookie here, hitting the end zone in week one of his career. And that's a true welcome to the NFL moment, isn't it? The one that you actually like. A lot of times it's that big hit from a linebacker that says, all right, Rook, here you are. But when you're able to put it in the end zone and feel that sense of accomplishment, that usually fuels you towards doing it many more times in your career. Two able to connect on the extra point. And the lead is now 14. They converted once in four tries. This will be third and six. Young to throw it. And escapes the sack. But now he's swallowed up and taken down. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half. And if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, They've got to find a way to keep him upright so he can throw the football. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. B. John Robinson leading the offense out for another drive. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep everybody here. Just yeah, stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. Fans, a reminder, coming up at this and every halftime this season, we'll be checking in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando for highlights and analysis and scores from around the NFL here in this opening week. There he goes, left side. He's still on his feet. Touchdown, Falcons! Terry McLaurin already his second touchdown here for this opening week. Falcons are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. 
What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, CD. Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. But well, let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. I don't think he calls it at the 19-yard line. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll get started up at FedEx Field in our nation's capital. And it's the Cardinals who are out in front in that one. Jacoby Brissett has thrown a touchdown pass. We saw a terrific first half from the dual threat quarterback, Lamar Jackson. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. Back now here on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Here's Young. To the right side and complete to Hurst. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. A give up the middle, Hubbard. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, he'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. And the first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. Young to throw it. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Try and run for this with Hubbard. Oh, nice move. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. First down, they'll stay on the ground with Hubbard. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. Young off the bootleg. Open man left side, it's the tight end Trimble. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. It'll go as a gain of four at its second down. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, OK, if we gain yardage up. Now he will take it across. Panthers touchdown. Chuba Hubbard taking it in from two yards out. And the Panthers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. The Young's going to throw for this. It's complete. But he will not get in here. He stopped up short of the goal line, and this will remain a five-point game. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for 
a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us. Stuff up off the turf far too often. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Taking it about the 36. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. And Young's throw there, incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here and just drop everyone into coverage to crack the throwing lanes? Play fake. Now Young going top shelf for Smith Schuster. That's caught inside the 20. A big play there for Carolina. 45 yards. Well, this is where an offense needs to show what it's made of. And in fact, where a quarterback needs to show what he's made of. Trying to engineer a fourth quarter comeback. And he hits a big one right there. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. Meanwhile, Young's thrown into the hands of the receiver, Chanel. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Eleven more yards that go around, a first down as well. Hubbard busts through the ten. And he is in. Touchdown, Carroll. Chuba Hubbard, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Panthers have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Well, we have seen the stiff arm get a bit of renaissance here in recent seasons, and that was pure strength there as he forced his way into the end zone. And when you think of guys who use the stiff arm so effectively, I go back to guys like Earl Campbell, Walter Payton, some recent guys like Marshawn Lynch. Let's go to the Wayback Machine. Bronco Nagurski, he dealt out a wicked step on. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. They'll try and run it up the middle. And he will not get there. He comes up short. And they're unable to push this lead to a field goal as it'll remain a one-point game. Snap. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Jackson to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by DeMarvian Overshow. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35 yard line. Boy, what a turnaround. They exited the lockers with a nice lead, and now all of this, what's happened? So when you start to write your novel, you'll start out with, it was a tale of two halves, won't you? Well, hey, but I'm a bad writer. <laughs> I don't know exactly what happened, because sometimes teams can go in with a lead and get too comfortable, too relaxed, and a couple things go wrong, and it's hard to get back that good feeling. Following the interception, Young, short throw underneath to Hurst. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. So a nice throw there. And, C.D., I, I have to think you've been impressed with what you've seen thus far here in his debut. Uh, you know me well. I have been impressed because what I've seen is him starting to understand how to play the game in a short amount of time. The dazzling plays, they'll come and with experience. Right now, we're seeing him handle the game, make all the smart plays, and the right reads. Third down, Young from the gun. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And out of bounds right around the 20. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. They'll run out of the gun. It's Hubbard. He had to fight that time. Ran through one tackle, but ultimately he's only going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. 
And they'll go again here with Hubbard. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, here's Young. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield with man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. The kick by Pinheiro is good, and that'll move their lead up to four now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. And that last turnover could have proven more costly, but their defense only gave up three. But now answering with a field goal doesn't do them much on this drive. They need to try and find the end zone. And this one too low. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the legs still there. This has been a tough game. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. On third down, Jackson. And that one too wide and incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. The 44-yard line, a gain of nine. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, did they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football. I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. A big pick up there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. Young's going to take a knee here, and that should just about do it. And just how they envision the start of the season, kneeling it down, defense can't stop the clock. This one's a winner. You know what's really strange? I think a lot of people think that the kneel down practice stuff really only happens like one time a week. The best teams I know, they practice starting back in OTAs. They want them to visualize winning a game and how great that feels, and they got it done in this one. Yep, a knee gets them to 1-0.
Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division, you knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win.